Hey guys, it's Mo. Today I want to give you a peek into what is in my train case that I use to carry my traveler's notebook stuff. And now that I'm filming this, I'm realizing this guy is way more beat up than I thought he was. Um, so, uh, I don't know. It looks so gross, but it's just beat up and old. Like the handle is all sorts of toe up and I didn't realize it until I sat down to film. I was like, this looks horrible. But this is my train case. I have a crazy collection of train cases because I buy them up. I haven't bought one in probably, I don't know, two, three years um, just because I haven't found any or been out looking for them. But when we had our vintage shop, I really was all about them. So this is what I use when I want to work in my listing journal, which is in my traveler's notebook. Um, it's kind of an unconventional traveler's notebook setup though, which I will go into. Um, so, I put together this kit. It's much the same reason why I have a planner bag because when I want to do it, and this has helped so much, when I want to do it, I have everything here. I don't have to go looking. I don't have to make decisions. What paper, what this. I put together this kit. This is what I use. I do need to add some more scrapbook paper to it, though I am running low. So I don't have to make decisions. I can just put it together and focus on creating. So when you open up, I'm trying to, like this is upside down because this is the best way to film this. You open it up, and I, there's the mirror here. I also have a picture of Sweetie Girl stuck in there. Um, I have my traveler's notebook here. And then in the tray, I have a bunch of different things. So I'm going to take this out, and we'll talk about the tray last so I can move everything out of the way. Um, but I have that tray. I have some rogue pieces of paper in here, I now see. Um, let me get those out of the way. So in this pocket, I have some extra stickers and ephemera, um, things that are sticky or together, like this guy back here is like a, I don't want to say a cut apart because it's already cut apart. It's kind of like perforated. You just have to pop it out. And then these are stickers and I have other like sticker related items and all in this thing and they stay in that pocket. And then I also have some extra of my inserts I made my journal really really full so I could have a full journal to start off with and now that I'm adding dimension and layers to it I'm having to pull out um, the inserts which are just blank craft paper I have a cardstock um, pad like a scrapbooking pad of just straight up craft paper and I trimmed it down this is like regular Midori traveler's notebook size like regular traveler's notebook size I trimmed it down and I punched it using my Mambi happy pen planner punch and so I just have extra ones there I was going to try and do some pocket scrapbooking things in there but these are hard to punch with the Mambi punch so I don't think I'm going to be doing that um, and then I have some extra like pocket journaling cards that I found from another project and I just threw them in here I also store a lot of my ephemera in these little photo box cases. So this one, let me open it up for you. I'm gonna have to stand up, I think. So this one has some Mambi, like, these are like banners or something. I found them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then some die cuts I made using my Cricut. I just found some images, some cartridges in Cricut, and then just put them on a canvas and cut them out from some paper. These are some Studio G ephemera things I think I got them at Meyer and their like craft section in there like dollar fifty bins or whatever and then I have a whole bunch of paper scrap paper that I have cut apart and paper that needs to be cut apart and turned into banners so some rogue ephemera is in here like this but I've turned it into banners into hexagons I have an extra disc because my um journal only has I think there's like nine discs and my journal only has eight discs or something like that so I have the extra one in here some hexagons some banners some words some flags I just use this as like layering pieces so that's what's in this first like ephemera box here and I think these are great they fit wonderfully my hand is sweating Ooh, they fit wonderfully in this little section here and then I have to stand up and sit back down. I have another one. Um, this one has, let's see if I can do it this way. This one has some ephemera that I have made myself. And this is going to be free up on the blog if it's up already or not. I'm not sure. But I will link it down below when it's up there. I'm going to have a, like, I think it's like four like an eight image ephemera, digital ephemera pack that you can cut with your Cricut Explorer. And then I have some 
digital ephemera that I have found and cut with my Cricut Explorer that I just keep in this package here. And these are jewelry, jewelry baggies. They're little Ziploc baggies that you can get in the jewelry section of like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then these are pieces that I have cut up from journaling cards. I have cut up and made my own like ephemera pack or whatever. And I just keep all of the ones, if I ever cut it up from a 12 by 12 or from a journal card, I put it in here. And then um, any like custom printout ones that aren't like brand name or whatever I have in here. Whoa, I can't get it out. So that is that one. And then this got out of its little place. Is that a rogue piece? No, I do have my papers grouped by size. So these are six by six papers. A lot of these, if not all of these, are from a Studio G, two Studio G packs. I think it was Studio G from the dollar-ish section of the craft section at my Meyer. And then I have smaller ones. Um, that I can use for decor, that I can just use as like accent colors, that I can trim things out of, use them to mat my Project Life cards or whatever, my lists or whatnot. Here's some more rogue pieces that didn't end up in the paper clip. And then these are pieces, there's some six by six pieces in here, but these are mainly pieces that are going to fit the length of my Midori inserts. So I keep those all together. And I do need to add some more scrapbook paper because there's lots of blues left and I'm really not into blues, so. I also have a corner rounder in here. This is a really old corner rounder. I don't even know who it is by. It's just really super old. And there's a guide, oops, right here that slips on and a rogue piece of yarn. Apparently, my I don't know how that got in there. My dog, that's from my dog's like um, blanket in her house. So she must have dropped it in here. I don't know. So there's this guide. It doesn't really fit. When it fits on there, it doesn't really fit in this pocket, so I keep them separately. And I haven't used this in, I don't even know, because it's not the right um, angle or whatever for the Project Life cards. It's not the right, the same angle. Um, I have some more. I was listing last night, so I have some more rogue elements here. I guess I just threw them in there. Then I have another um, ephemera pack thing. This one holds all of my like brand name ones. So I keep them in these little, or like ones that I've bought that are actually really official ones. I keep them again in these little jewelry Ziploc bags and I cut the back out so I know what's in them. So this one is like a Pebbles one. I think it's like some summertime one. I got it Tuesday morning. This one is... I don't have any idea because it doesn't say on there. These are, I think they're me and my big ideas like fusible ones. So they are, they have a little bit of a like plastic coating so you can use them with your fuse tool, which I don't know if that's the proper term for that. Or if I don't know. Um, this one is a Simple Stories one. I don't, I believe. I don't know the name though. Here's another one. Really super cute. Oops. And another one. So I just keep them all in here and I kind of alternate them so they will all fit, but I'm not going to do that for right now. I'm trying to look at the, because I stream it to my Apple TV while I film on my iPhone. I'm trying to do it from the TV and not from looking. So this is just a pack of extra um, four by six journaling cards that I haven't really broken into, but they are pretty and they kind of go with my theme, so I'm just keeping them in there. I'm not gonna go through them. And then this is a pack from Simple Stories. It had four by six cards in it. It has this, some ephemera. It was huge. It had four by six cards, ephemera, three by four cards. I think it has like two by two cards and then some other square cards here. Let me see if I can get this. Out. It fits glorious in here, but it's hard to get out. Ooh. So yeah, there's even square cards and two by two cards in there. So I've used some of the ephemera. I've used some of the journaling cards from there, but it's just easy to see what I have when I keep everything together and I use the back part to display it. Then this is my washi tape. Whoa, it's all gonna fall out. Plus some other something. That was stuck in there. But this is my washi tape, if I can get it to go back in its little case. And this, I don't know if you can see through the washi tape there, is an iPhone, I think it's an iPhone something 5C. iPhone 5C, Zach had for his work. 
and so I keep my washi in it. It's great for like little washi samples that I put on tags and I will leave a DIY down below that I did on my blog on how I laminate half of the, the bottom half and then wrap washi tape around it. And I just took washi tape samples from my collection and just made a mini washi collection in here so I don't have to bring out my big huge rings and go through them and decide. I just have it all right here. So I love this. I'm going to go into the um, tray after I put all this back in here, but I'm going to talk for a second. I love this because I don't have to make decisions. It's not like I have to run all over my craft room and say, where the heck did I put that one piece of ephemera that I know I want to use for this because it looks so great or whatever. I just, it's all in here. I list I knock out lists so freaking quickly because I don't have to make all of these crazy, crazy decisions um, on what to do and what matches and what doesn't match. And so I just made this kit. I know everything matches. I know everything goes together. I'm gonna be really bad and throw all the rogue things back in there and just pretend they don't exist. Woo, there's another rogue piece of Thing. and then these all fit in here super nicely I like having them divided by size because it just one it fits super nicely and two I know what I'm looking for and where it's at and let's see if I can do this one hand and get this back in here oh what's in there oh that's the key to lock it that I still have in there so we'll stick that in there um, I'm gonna move this to the side, I think. I put dents in my cardboard with it. Let me close it here. Is that gonna add a little bit of light? No, okay. I'll move it out of the way. So I put dents in my cardboard here. Woo! So this is my tray. Like I said, this needs to go back in there, but it has a whole bunch of sticker type or attached ephemera. I have my, it actually sits like this. If the train case was sitting at me this way, it sits like this. So um, I have my listing prompts and you can find these on my blog. They are a PDF and there's also a silhouette with some stickers on the side. That's why it's cut kind of funky. And I just keep that in here. I also have some glue sticks because and I don't know if these are acid free. I hope they are, but they're, I have, I bought a butt ton of them one time when they were on sale from like back to school. So I have a butt ton of them and I'm always running out of the tape runners. I would love to use an adhesive roller the whole time, but I'm always running out of the tape runner and it's pointless. And then I have a Polaroid zip that Zach got me. I don't really use this in my listing journal, but it fits so nicely in here. And I do kind of want to start incorporating it into something to do with my listing journal, but I mainly use it in my memory planner, but it fits nicely in here, so I just keep it in there. Um, in the front here, I have a pair of precision scissors if I want to fussy cut anything. And then I have some cheapo Target scissors just to cut through really quickly some scrapbook paper. This is the pen that I use to list with. It is like a felt tip pen. I don't know if that's gonna focus. It's like a, oh, this is, the camera is so far away. It's like a felt tip pen. Um, and I use that to list with. And then I have some extra paper clips in this bag just for extra decoration. I think they're really fun to have in my little journal here. Here is another rogue piece of ephemera that I'm not gonna be able to pick up. Rogue. I have some Target Dollar Spot sticky notes as well as these that have numbers on them. I thought they would be good for listing. And this heart and then this with a hair um, ombre kind of sticky note thing. I also have some page flags and I really wanna use, these are really pretty. I really wanna use these guys in some list. I just haven't yet. And so I just have an assortment of page flags. I think these are really cool like listing, art journaling, scrapbooking kind of elements. I have a pencil if I need to mark anything out before I write or draw or sketch. These are magnetic bookmarks. This is really dusty. <laughs> These are magnetic bookmarks that I got from Hima when I was in Amsterdam and they just are magnetic and I think they're really cute. I haven't used them yet, but they're in here. And this is a list pad from Webster's Pages. I like this to use as my listing base because it's so long and has lots of room to write in. So I really like that. Then I have 
another rogue piece of ephemera. Um, but then I have two sections of journaling cards. These are all the journaling cards that I can write lists on. And pretty much I collect Project Life, al not albums, kits, like there's no tomorrow. So I just went through all the ones that I had and picked even like generic pocket card kits I collect and just picked ones that I thought were pretty that kind of matched my theme, um, which you might not be able to tell my theme. It's not really pastel. It's kind of bright. It's not really pastel. It's not really girly kind of thing. But anyway, I just picked anything that kind of went with my theme and put it in this side. Like this one is one of my favorites. Put it in this side over here. That is my listing actually what I write my lists on and then I have a section over here of journaling cards that I want to use as backgrounds as matting as layering pieces like they're just pretty designs and I really just want to use them as like a layering piece so that is that and then I have these I think this is from a my my mind's eye collection and I ruined it with the, the clip has red and so it pulled some red on the top of it you can't really see and this is really pretty with the gold foil it's super I also have the ephemera pack for this that I haven't used yet and it's just really super pretty and they are double-sided so like look at that freaking cactus so cute so cute and then these are from another kit I don't remember which one and they're just like little sayings so I just put them I kept them out and these are from a totally different kit than these ones but I just kind of took them out because they had sayings if I wanted to make that the main focus of a list or of a page or something I don't know I could do that so that is that and I keep those I'm not gonna put them under but I keep those right there and this all folds back up into my little kit um let me put this away and then I will go and walk you through my journal here Okay, so this is my journal. It is a Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. I have the tag in the back because I haven't decided if I'm going to like use metal snippers and snip it off. I don't know why I started talking so low. I don't want to offend the Traveler's Notebook, I guess. And this is the walnut size. It's a regular size Traveler's Notebook by the brand Webster's Pages. I love Webster's Pages. They've gotten so much better at making planners. It's ridiculous. This is what the side view looks like. This is what the top view looks like. You can see I have a disc bound journal in there. So let me walk you through it. Um, the reason why I wanted a traveler's notebook is because it was like a journal cover. I can't commit to things that are bound. So I couldn't commit to everything being attached in one like notebook that goes in a traveler's notebook. So I did my own thing where I made a disc bound journal and then I just, I cut an extra like cover and slipped it in the back. So there's a, um, I made this using, I can't remember if this is three mil or five mil laminate. I just laminated it without anything in the pouch and then made a uh, Cricut cut file with her. A cut file and cut it out with my Cricut. I don't know if you can see that. So it fits here. So I can take this out if I just want this to be my journal and take it with me. But I like it in this cover. I got the mini discs from Mambi Happy Planner. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there's eight discs. And um, my couch is so squeaky. And so I got the mini disc, they fit in here and you can see it's getting really bulky and I haven't even used a lot of the pages yet. So that's what I was talking about where I'm taking out pages as I go because I wanted it to be full enough to fit in here and look pretty without um, being like floppy. So I'm just taking them out as I go. Um, in my pockets here I have a lot of paper clips. I am suddenly in love with paper clips. I made this one on my Cricut. This one is a DIY I have on my blog. A ribbon one. I think I bought or got this ribbon one in an order. I did buy this. I will leave a link below to the shop. I can't remember off the top of my head. I made this one with a little cabochon. This I got from either, I think I got it from Five Below. And you have this little window pocket here. So I just put in a journaling card that says my favorite things from Heidi Swap. And then another little decorative piece right there you have this like secretarial pocket that I have a piece of scrapbook paper stuck into and then a magnetic bookmark and then you have a pocket here you have the Midori um, the binding string from the outside and the 
uh, elastics that you would stick your tri-wash notebook in, but I don't do that. So I'm gonna remove this clip for a second. Like I said, this is just a clear, um, I don't know what you would call it, a clear piece of plastic I put on there because I didn't want this to get dirty or messed up or ruined. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I used a journaling card on and some ephemera and some layering to create the front. And it was way thick. It was hard to punch with my Happy Planner punch. So I just back, like put a second piece of scrapbook paper on the back and then I clip all the fronts together like that and it stays like this. And so um, my pages get really thick because this craft paper is like a card stock and so it's really thick and then I just layer the crap out of everything on there. So this is, some of my lists aren't finished because I just haven't decided what needs to go on them yet. Um, so I, it's a work in progress. I do about like uh, four, five, six lists at a time where I just decide I want this page to look like this and I choose all the elements and I lay it down and then I'll go back and list things later. So like I haven't filled out the facts about my Zodiac because I haven't really looked it up. Um, and I just use a whole bunch of elements. And I think this one's really cool because I'm a Sagittarius and that is the archer. So I found all these arrows in my collection, oops, up here and on the side here um, for the archer for uh, Sagittarius. So uh, my favorite foods, I love sweets. So I put a lot of sweet things around here and it's horrible. And that's probably why I had to get a root canal. Um, my favorite movies, this is part of that free ephemera pack that's gonna be on my blog as well as these tickets here. And this ticket down here so um, that will be on my blog if it's not up already it will be up and I will link it um, favorite TV shows follow my hobbies all of these are on my blog you can download and this is one where I was talking about I use some scrapbook paper a smaller scrapbook paper to mat a journaling card that I was going to write my list on but all these prompts are up on the blog and you can see I use paperclip and I like how the paperclip sort of goes here and adds an accent here but the back is like doesn't take away from this one here and these quotes to live by I want to use my typewriter and type up the quotes and put them over these hexagon hexagons hexagons that I used my I actually have it here hexagon punch to punch out and make my own like DIY ephemera or whatnot and then the last one is what's in my bag so and I still have so many odd I'm pretty sure there are 30 or 31 lists in my challenge I could count them um this is 12 I believe so far and I just sit down and like I said in a night I will sit down and knock out the layout for them in like under a minute per page and it just probably maybe longer than a minute like under under 10 minutes a page <laughs> that was that was a bit of an exaggeration but I like it because I don't have to make decisions like oh I know I have the perfect paper let me go flip through my 10,000 12 by 12 scrapbook papers and tear up my entire craft office just to find one piece of ephemera no I have it all in my little case that's all that I use I spread everything out and I just place 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 glue done place 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 glue done place 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 glue done and I just pick um pick a card that I'm going to journal on think about like this one's one of my favorite because it's my three favorite stories and I included that because I didn't want to do books necessarily it could be a short story it could be a poem it could be a story that your grandmother told you that kind of thing so this um, like ruler paper reminded me of being younger of my grandmother of going to school and reading stories and of growing up so that's why I chose that it goes great with this glasses which goes with reading this is like a denim um, like page flag not page flag but like banner thing this has like some pink wood grain and all kinds of go kinds of go together this is wood grain this is like an old label my um I grew up and my grandma had a lot of flowers so it like just reminds me of growing up and it's like a whole theme and then I love this it adds to like the office-y feel of it and this is where I use my glue and it didn't really stick um and like this one all of my hobbies I just wanted it to be fun and you got this happy life you know kind of thing just layer stuff up there um and sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with anything like favorite tv shows has nothing really to do with this I just thought all of these colors went to get together well and I like doing these little clusters and 
This one, favorite movies, I wanted to put the tickets, this black and white and kind of reminded me of like old cinema kind of thing and this like confetti kind of reminded me of an old cinema and this lined card reminded me of like old timey and then this radio doesn't have anything to do with it but it kind of just went with it, I don't know. Um, favorite foods, I kind of went with like a red theme with some yellow, I pulled it in from this which is a cut apart from a journaling card and it's about foods and I love sweets so I put a lot of sweets on there you know um arrows like I said for my zodiac Sagittarius so it kind of makes sense here um you know so just things like that and I just like this was obviously the first one that I did and I kind of just kept that layer everything kind of dealio going on here so that's a look at my listing journal. I'm going to do another another flip through of it as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am gonna keep you all updated as I go through and work through this listing journal. Also, tell me if I should just grow the balls to cut this off. I really don't like it and that's why I keep it on the back. Um, I've seen people use like mini origami owl charms on here. They have the little baby lockets and I really wanna do that. And the fall catalog for origami owl is coming out really quick. Quickly, um, or rather shortly it's coming out soon I don't know what I'm trying to say so I might do something like that or I might add my own charms on here I don't know but I think this is a really cool option if you can't commit to um, it's all jumbled up here if you can't commit to bound things which is the same reason I took my Erin Condren out of it's that was my dog's tummy I don't know if you heard that out of its shell because I can't I can't commit to things that are bound together so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that helped you sort of like see into my listing process maybe help you think about creating a kit so you don't have to make decisions it's great for that's why I have a planner bag because I put everything that I know I'm gonna use in there and that's all I use I don't have to say you know what I think I had this one sticker that I put this over here blah 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 it's all there together so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I will do more walkthroughs of this in the future when I get more lists in there. And so I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.